So I'd like to thank, before I begin, the CSW for this wonderful conference, and my family for being here, and everyone else who's listening and who's here today. In music studies, scholars have often explored music as a metaphor for emotions, thoughts, and life. In the 19th century, music critic Edward Hanslick recognized the inherent metaphorical sense of musical discourse. As he stated in 1891, what in every other art is still description is a music already metaphor. When verbalizing what music is, from representation to technique, one cannot avoid using figurative language, metaphors in particular, because description of sound is of necessity and interpretation. Although research concerning metaphor in and about music is common in music studies, I would like to propose an alternative way of approaching metaphor as it relates to performance. Philosopher John L. Austin, in coining the word performative, refers to the meaning of utterances or spoken words as the doing of the action that it accomplishes. Although this is the case with spoken words, what happens with the doing that has no words? For this, I refer to feminist Judith Butler's notion of bodily action. In understanding the relationship between the speech act and the bodily act, Butler writes, there is what is said, and then there is the kind of saying that the bodily instrument of the utterance performs. Actions are thus to be understood as performative metaphors, which are effective in bringing about the situation they represent, using image rather than words. The image created and negotiated by women mariachi musicians, both in their verbal descriptions of themselves as well as the nonverbal doing of their image, affirms the idea that a metaphor is not merely a linguistic mechanism. Metaphors can also be performed, meaning that one does not have to say something to enact a metaphorical truth value. A performance, for example, is a public action in which meanings are manifest, uh, manifested into actions and words that stand for something else. In the following, I will illustrate briefly how metaphors can be performed not through music itself, but through the image represented by female mariachi musicians. Around the world, mariachi music is a powerful mode of cultural expression that has been predominantly recognized as a male-dominated musical tradition, despite the fact that women also play an integral role. Since the beginning of its worldwide popularity, the Mariachi image has been utilized to represent a symbol of man manliness, in addition to its significance as a symbol of Mexico. Embraced as an emblem of Mexican identity during the nationalist movement in the 1930s, the Mariachi image was constructed from a collection of symbols, such as the sombrero, the traje de charro, which is the stylized bullfighter outfit adopted by Mariachi musicians, and pistol brandishing, all which collectively presented an image of Mexican maleness through films, television, and radio. Moreover, the masculine self-representation of male mariachi performers has largely influenced the common perception of this musical expression, and it is this male conception that has been primarily accepted by much of the media and scholars of this musical performance. In her article on the discourse surrounding the Mexican charro, Olga Nájera Ramírez posits that the charro must be approached as both a national symbol and a cultural construction of maleness. Despite the fact that there is a feminine translation for the word charro, which is charra, women, uh, sorry, mariachi musicians do not use it to describe the female versions of the mariachi suit. Women have nonetheless created and negotiated their image in a variety of ways. They can wear a longer skirt. This is the more traditional version, but this in purple. <laughs> Skirts that are just above the knees. I'm um, sorry, below the knees. Skirts that are just above the knees. <laughs> uh, fitted in female travel pants, which means that they're wearing the pants that the guys use, but more fitted to the female body. Mexican regional style tops. Here. Mexican regional dresses. This is the way that all female groups used to uh, dress in the 1950s and 60s. They don't really dress this way anymore, but it was one of the ways in which they embodied the Mexican chiro outfit. 
want contemporary dress with uh, Botunadura, Botunadura decoration. Botunadura is this middle here on the side. And so as you can see, they're um, making it a little bit more feminine. By developing their awareness of the signs and signals that serve as a body, as a language of their body, and by choosing to do their image in order to perform a female version of the historically masculine mariachi suit, women mariachi musicians metaphorically assert and contest that which individuals and communities once conceptualized as the norm, the traje de charro. The metaphoric assertions by women and mariachi today, seen as perhaps a metaphor of the role of women in musical activities, thus provoke enticing questions regarding tradition, judgment, and symbolic meanings. In formal interviews and informal conversations with women mariachi musicians, many enthusiastically share what they do to make the mariachi image more feminine. Some describe the colors that they choose, the length of the skirt that they prefer, whether they prefer skirts or pants, and still, some still critique those women who choose not to wear the long feminine outfit that we saw in the first image. In addition to the desire to create a feminine image, there is the underlying notion of the traditional and the proper. In a recent interview with Ramona Marrera, director of Mariachi Xochitl, she felt that she had to justify why they prefer wearing a short skirt, which is this image here. She says, it is more convenient because the long skirts can be dangerous. <laughs> Our heels can get stuck in the hem causing us to trip if we're not careful. And on top of that, we wouldn't be able to walk fast if we needed to. <laughs> Truthfully, as she later reveals, they did not mind looking like sexy women mariachi musicians. Despite their reasons for wearing knee-length skirts, mariachi sochi has a matching full-length skirt to use in front of audiences who prefer, prefer the more proper, proper looking female mariachi groups. The metaphorical assertions of mariachi sochi's feminine or even sexy image is only one example in which the verbal description of their image may in fact complement the nonverbal doing of their image. The diverse attitudes that respond to these performative metaphors, many of which concern important notions of tradition, judgment, and symbolic meanings, have important effects on what should and could be preserved, and that which can involve change. On Sunday, November 27, 2011, El Mariachi, Música de Cuerdas, Canto y Trompeta, which translates to Mariachi, String Music, Song and Trumpet, was among the 18 new items of intangible world heritage to be added to the representative li list of the intangible culture of humanity by the United Nations Organization for Education, Science and Culture, UNESCO. This important news received positive and negative reviews in Mexico. The idea that it is now a responsibility of the Mexican government and the mariachi musicians themselves to preserve the music, which is ambiguously dis disdained, has shed new light on whether female mariachi groups will be included in efforts to preserve this musical tradition, particularly since UNESCO's list intends to protect heritage, which is often interpreted as old, and all female mariachi groups are more recent. Performative metaphors address embodied actions that capture emotion and express an expression in the fluidity and adaptability of human activity. They are associated with self-representation, self display, and interpersonal communication. In this sense, the metaphors performed account for an appropriation and transformation of the ubiquitous masculine mariachi appearance. Performance is not just about music. It is also about the bodily actions. Thus, a closer look at the performative actions, which are at the root of the representation of the performing arts, shed light on the quotidian metaphoric assertions made by women mariachi musicians today. Performity, performativity thus cannot be limited to metaphors in and about music. A closer look at how women mariachi musicians do their image takes into account not only what they wear and how they look, but also the performative metaphors that include the characteristics, attitudes, gestures, behaviors, and the musical manifestations themselves. All of these are subject to reflexive, reflexive judgments that oscillate between preservation and change. Thank you.